All right, so Jay's question was, how do I mirror uh, a part so that I don't have to remodel all this stuff? And the way we do that is with the create mirror command. And create mirror can mirror faces, uh, bodies, features, and components. Now, the only time you ever want to mirror faces is when you did a surface model and there's no solid geometry with it. Um, with bodies, it mirrors the actual solid geometry, so it actually mirrors all of this part, but the second part is just a dumb lump. It doesn't include any of the uh, component data, like any extra bodies that might be part of it, sketches, construction, geometry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, features is really useful. Features let you mirror things like extrudes or chamfers or... Um, fillets or anything like that, um, anything that you, you use the modify menu for. And then components lets you mirror everything. Um, components will, if you're, you know, if you have more components in your model tree here, it'll let you mirror a component uh, and include all of its sketches, all of its associated construction geometry and all of that. Um, so that's actually, it's actually a recent addition. It's only been around for a month or so and it's uh, very useful. But today we're going to use uh, model bo mirror bodies. And we select that it asks for two things. It asks for the object and the mirror plane. I haven't made a mirror plane yet, so I need to make that. And uh, the object is this part here. Now, depending on what Jay's use is, I probably could select this wall as the mirror plane, but I have a feeling he's wanting to set this up to be cut on the CNC router. So what I'm going to do is make an offset plane off the side here, and I'm going to make it a half inch off the, the edge. And what that will do is that will um, mirror the second part about this plane, uh, so they'll be one inch apart. So we'll go into create. Bodies is already selected. Select my object that I want to mirror. Select the mirror plane. Click OK. And now I've mirrored that part. I have two bodies in my, uh, in my project now. And I have a plane and a uh, mirror event in my history down at the bottom. So that's how you do it. It's super simple. Um, and now you can go start programming off of that. So thanks guys.